In this section, we're going to go through the security page. And on the firewall tab, we have information about the firewall, which is the Stateful Packet Inspection, SPI, firewall protection. When this is enabled, the device acts as a firewall and inbound connections from the internet are blocked. When this is disabled, the device acts as a router and all inbound and outbound connections will go through the router. Let's take a closer look at this. So Mike here on the inside network wants to make a connection to the internet. And as his connection goes outbound, the router or the firewall records the information in this table. The source IP, which is Mike's IP, the destination IP where Mike's uh, request is going to, and the ports associated with this request. When the connection comes back, the firewall checks this table to see if it had anything outbound associated with that connection. If it did, it will allow the connection to come back. Now if somebody tries to spoof Mike's connection on the internet, the firewall will check the state table. It will notice there is no information about that connection and it will drop the connection. And that's how stateful packet inspection works. The next section we have is the internet filter. We have filter anonymous internet requests. So let's take a look at that and see what that does. So incoming requests to the firewall are dropped. So for example, if someone pings the firewall, the firewall does not respond. It will just drop the packet and keep quiet. If somebody does a port scan on their firewall, it will just drop the packets and stay silent. The objective of this is to keep the router hidden or cloaked on the internet. Next, we have filter multicast. Multicast is traffic coming from one destination going to multiple hosts. So let's take a look at that. So now we have a multicast stream coming in through the firewall and this is allowed to come in and go to multiple hosts. So Mike and Sue are receiving the multicast signal and they're looking at it or listening to it. And Bob is not. So if you don't have a need for multicast traffic coming in inbound, you could disable this. When multicast traffic comes to the router, it will get dropped. So let's go ahead and disable that since we don't need multicast to come in on this router. Next, we have filter internet NAT redirection. And let's go over see what that does. So we have a PC and a web server on the inside interface. Now for this to work, you need to have already set up port redirection. So internet users coming in on port 8080 will be redirected to the web server on port 80. Now if the inside users want to browse the server, they can go to the outside IP address of the router and they will get redirected to the web server. Now if we enable filter internet NAT redirection, this connection will not be allowed from inside hosts. The host still can access the web server on the internal IP, but they cannot access it through the firewall using the public address. So let's go through and see how it's set up. First, let's go to application and gaming tab, which we'll cover later. But we've set this up as an example here. So we have my web server and the external port is 8082 and the internal port is 80. So any connections coming from the internet going to port 8082 on the router's IP address will be redirected to port 80 to host 192.168.1.59 using TCP and this is enabled. So let's go back to the security page and currently we have filter internet NAT redirection disabled. Let's save our settings. Now let's go to the status page. On the status page we see that our outside IP address is 10.17.16.104. So this is the IP address we want to browse to. Back to the security tab. Open up a browser. 
and let's go to uh, 10.17.16.104 on port 8082 and we see we can connect to our internal web server well, so what's happening we're coming from the PC we're heading this IP address and we're getting redirected back to this internal web server so now we're going to disable this let's save our settings and let's give it a try let's open up a browser and try to browse the page again as you can see now the connection was blocked and we couldn't make that connection we can still browse the server directly so we can go to 192.168.1.59 and we should get the browser page so it's only through the firewall that we're blocked okay let's go back to the firewall here we have filter ident port 113 let's take a look and see what this does so ident so basically ident identifies the users that are on the machine so when an ident request comes in the PC will respond with the username up that's on the machine so what we want to do is disable this and this is disabled by default so when we disable this inbound ident requests will be dropped at the router's outside interface as you can see this is enabled by default so we don't have anything to set up here web filter the first option we have is proxy here a proxy is an intermediary system between the router and the systems your hosts are trying to reach this is usually put in place to protect the end systems at the other end but sometimes proxy settings can be used to attack you the recommendation is to do proxy blocking on your end system and not here because sometimes you just because some sites you visit are going through a proxy and you'll be blocked and you can make a decision at the end system rather than here on a case-by-case -case basis Java and ActiveX are scripting or programming languages and they enhance the web browsing experience by allowing dynamic web page creation but Java and ActiveX could install malicious code on your system especially if you browse an untrusted site they could have malicious Java or ActiveX scripts that install on your machine and compromise your machine cookies are basically data stored on your machine and they keep track of your sessions so for example if you're doing online shopping a cookie might be kept on your system about the items that are in your shopping cart or it could keep user preference information on your system but there's some issues with cookies they could track what sites you're browsing so you don't want to accept cookies from every site but the sites that you only trust again the recommendation is to accept cookies on your end system and not here and make a case-by-case -case determination as you're doing your online shopping or your browsing next we're going to go through the VPN pass-through tab here we have three options so VPN is a virtual private network and if you work from home and you set up a VPN connection to your work you will want this to be enabled but you might not use all protocols for example here we're only using IPsec pass-through so that's all we're going to enable and we're going to turn off disable point-to-point -point tunneling protocol pass-through and layer 2 tunneling protocol pass-through and we're going to save the changes or if you're not using VPN at all you can disable all three that covers the security page